and represent the interests of the people. We're also aware of your purposes to protect the unlawful legislation passed down from United Kingdom Corporation Limited and the UK Corporation Limited. They're a private firm, like I was explaining to you earlier. Throughout your tenure, we have observed too many instances of serious misconduct and clear evidence of crimes, deaths, assaults while in custody, colluding and assisting with criminal UK government in their now majority publicly known worldwide depopulation de agenda, which you'll have to see Global Terrorist, WEF, the UN, CDC. Also see Book of Revelations, that's actually quite... Uh, sexual assaults on children and adults, child rape, we have got stacks of uh, pieces of paper with names and addresses and numbers and offences of where, where you have actually done that against the public. Okay, uh, You've assisted social services with kidnapping and trafficking of children for money, aligning with political ideologies and agendas like sexualisation of our children in recent years. You have been helping and facilitating in that. The cruel killing and kidnapping of destruction of pets and private property. Concerning the amount of reports of victims not being visited by police when serious cr crimes have been committed, like rape and burglary, four weeks, five weeks, we don't see anything from you. Mm. You're looking at your watch, am I keeping you? Am I keeping you? Sorry. No, you're on our time anyway, you're on our time. Alleged, alleged direct involvement in trafficking of children and adults with elite criminals, Masonic lodges, media, CBBC, and the fraudulent monarchy and the people displayed to the public as celebrities. They're not celebrities, they're rotten. And we also have plenty of documented cases of the police employees having criminal involvement with the Masonic lodges and the not-so-secret meetings in which you commit even more darker offences. Our, our concern is the police employees involved in activities that conflict with their oath and the principal principalities of impartiality. As Ephesians 5.11 states, have nothing to do with the fruitful deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. And I would, I would ask you to go and see someone called Dr. Selwyn Stevens if you are a Freemason. I'm not going to ask if you are, because you wouldn't give me a right answer anyway. So yeah, Dr. Selwyn Stevens is helping a lot of Freemasons turn away from the dark side. So ask anyone else who's watching to also do the same. It's clear now to the public that you are serving a dark agenda against your own people these crimes have been these crimes have severely undermined the public's trust in your ability to faithfully discharge your duties and act in the best interests of the men and women you are meant to serve as citizens we have the right and responsibility to demand accountability from our paid representatives and public officials which is you should you choose not sorry I've missed a bit there. Is collective decision we no longer require your services is a reflection of your is is a reflection of your urgent need to change and the restoration of the trust in the institution that govern us. We call upon you to reflect on your concerns and consider stepping down from your position voluntarily. Doing so would be an act of responsibility and respect to the public's will. Should you choose not to do so, we will explore all available peaceful avenues to address these concerns and then advocate for necessary asset stripping of employees found guilty of any of the above crimes. Please be advised that this letter represents the voice of a multitude of concerned living men and women who believe that the change is essential to assure the well-being of the community and uphold principles of justice and fairness. We will continue to monitor the situation closely, gather details and engage in peaceful assemblies like we are today. We trust that you will consider our, con our concerns earnestly and act in the best interests of the men and women you once served. And we hope that this situation can be resolved amicably and without any further disruption to our communities. Sincerely, by order of the unruled, which is everyone as a collective. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to give you that now. Something I'm going to take. Say, can you just get just, a copy of that? So we've got the numbers that we've actually given you. Do you want a copy as well? Just, just, Would you make okay. one a copy? Just, 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 no, we don't. It's asleep. In response to where you say we are in your own eyes. It's way too much next year. Well, please support consent. You're inferring that you people don't consent to us policing with you. So you aren't subject to the law. Well, I'm, now, I'm, now, I haven't seen you as, as well, authority figures sort of for the past four years. years. Now, what I'm going to say is police and by consent in this country, if it's police and by consent as a country as a whole. Now, you group of approximately 
stand by sides we really need to do this. Approximately 30 people. I get you don't want to be subject to the law right now. However, I'm not leasing my consent of 30 people out of the no, no, I did say to the beginning of Wales. I did say to the beginning of the Wales. I just wanted to give the message. I like yeah, like these things. <laughs> so we are policing on consent of the population yeah. as a whole. And I do get that a small number of individuals at times might want to not consent to be increased so that they can sort of, you know. They are free to do their own thing. Well, they are, though. They are free to do their own thing. If they tried to lock us down again, we would sit there. Now, all I'm going to say is we work on the consent of the population, not a small group. So I get what you're saying, that you don't consent to us policing you, but the country wants us to please. That's because they're all dumb and follow orders. That's all I'm going to say. It's slightly changed. What you see on the media and, you know, the system which obviously you're contained in. That's not life. What we do outside of that, you don't hear about. So when we're going out and meeting people and having, you know, meetings in the park or going to the pub, we're not just sitting there having the crap. It's we're planning smackies. on doing what we need to do to get this resolved. You're not going to help, clearly. We've oh. tried for the past three, four years trying to talk to you. It's like speaking to a brick wall. Oh. But I'm it is going to come a time where you ain't going to be having you're a say. choice. What, 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 you know what I mean? Say is you've got your point across. Yeah. I think we've all like, amicably stood here and you've got your point across. I'm going to say it's been a peaceful day. Have a good day. I'm all right then. Nice I'm all right. Can I ask one last question, please? Nice to meet you all. You well, said, I have a home to go Can I ask one last question? Yeah. You say you don't know your sergeant's name. He's on the radio. Can you ask him his name That's for us, please? That's a different sergeant to who's managing here. Can he, I want his he's, name, though. He's not going to Can you ask him his name? Now, the sergeant in charge of this, the sergeant, is not the inspector. The inspector... The inspector for today was Matthew Shaw. Matthew okay? Shaw. Matthew Shaw. He, he, um, that sergeant you saw then is because I told you I'm from a different part no, of the No, no, no. I just wanted to know who was on the radio. I just wanted to know who was on the radio because yeah, yeah. I know he's watching. It's Inspector Matthew Shaw. Inspector Matthew Shaw. Are you a free man? No. Have a good day.